Okay. Yes. Now it is right. Okay. Hello, everyone. Good evening. I think I am audible now, right? Great. I can see so many students are excited. Excited. Great, great. So, a very warm welcome to all of you. Okay. So, yeah, there we are. So, today is a very fine Saturday evening, and we are going to do some very interesting activity today. And I welcome you all, uh, coding champions, to this master class. So, okay. So as you are very excited, let me start what we are going to do today. So you all have played many games before. I know you are very uh, enthusiastic gamers, right? All of you like to play games. You have to keep on commenting. I want to see your enthusiasm, students. That's great. Very nice. So today we are going to make a very adventurous game and a very exciting game. So are you all interested to go to space? You want to go to space, everyone, to, to get a very cool ride of space. Great, very good, yes. So we are going to play and first we are going to make and then play a very interesting game. It is a space shooter game that you all know. And you might have uh, seen that game somewhere in some movies or some, you might have played it also. So that is something very interesting, right? If you can make your own game. So without wasting any more time, let us start. So let us uh, see in the scratch how we will make this game. So I'm going to share my screen now and I'll show you. Let's start. So let me share my screen. There we go. So here we are in the scratch tool. So let us open a new fresh project and we can start a new game. I can see so many students are excited. Yes, very good. So students, if you have any questions when we are making the game, you can keep on commenting in the chat and I will try to answer most all of your questions. So let us start. Okay, so here we are in the scratch. Now we have to start by choosing our important sprites. As you all know, scratch is made up of many sprites. We have to use our different, different sprites here. So we have a cat here. So let us go to choose some excited, uh, interesting sprite. Okay, so let us start by choosing our main uh, vehicle, which is the rocket ship, right? It's a space shooter game. So let us search here rocket. We have a rocket ship, let's take that. Okay, that's here. Now we don't want the cat, let us delete the cat. So I'll click on this cross button. Let us go back to choose a sprite. And now we need some rocks so that we can shoot them, right? We have to go into the journey of space and we have to shoot the obstacles so that they don't harm us. So let us search here, rocks. Okay, we have rocks. Let's get a rock here. Now, how do we shoot it? We need some lasers, right? How do we make a gun? So we need some lasers. So we'll go to the sprite. And if you see, if you go down, you have a button. So if we are going to make it look like a really cool laser. So let's take this button. Okay, here we have. Now, before I do some changes to these sprites, let us get a very cool backdrop so that we can make an interesting game. So let's go in the choose a backdrop. And we need to go in space. Of course, you guessed it right. So you have so many interesting backdrops here. Let us take galaxy. Okay, here we are. Now, I want to make it a little smaller because these sprites are very big. So let us start with the rocket ship. Let's see, I'll write here 50 in the size. Okay, so that much is good for me. And I'm going to put it here in the center. So this space, this rocket ship is going to move left and right and we have to control it, right? So now we have to go in the button, which is not a button, we have to make it a laser. So let us rename the sprite. It's written here, button two. So let's name it laser. 
there we are now let us decrease the size it doesn't look like a laser now so in the size let's make it 10 so that's really small but it's going to look big when you play it in the full screen now this is here so we have to move it somewhere near the rocket so that it should shoot from the rocket right so we will do that now let's go to the rocks so in the rocks they are also very big let's make them 50 so now they're cool now they are not looking like they're coming from the top our rocket is at the bottom so rock should fall from the top so we have to rotate them the direction should be pointing down right so let's go in the direction and it's pointing this way so let us point like this so it will come down so here we are now let us see how it looks in the full screen okay that's good now let's keep this laser also rotated because it's not looking like a laser still so in the laser we have to rotate it let's go to direction let's change the rotation to the bottom like this now we have it now we have the rocket here so we want the laser also in the center here so i'm going to put the same coordinates as the rocket x and y so you can see x and y are in the minus because it is at the bottom so we need to put the laser same i'll put here minus 5 and the rocket ship is at 141 so i'll put the laser also 140 i have to do it minus now it's at the bottom great so we are going to start with our code and let's start with the rocket ship so we'll go to rocket ship here so we have to make it move by our arrow keys in the keyboard we have to control our spaceship it is ours right so we will start with the event block and we have to take this first one when flag click you all know what is a flag here you have the flag button so when we start the flag it will start the code so first of all we'll go to looks and we'll take a size block set size to 100 percent but it's not going to be 100 we have to change it to 50 right let's connect it here and let's make it 50 so it is the size and we have to make it go here it has to start with this position so we'll go to motion and we have to take a go to x and y block so that it can go to that position now let's take it and connect it here i'll just make it a little bigger like this great so i can see you are you all are very excited i can see your enthusiasm that's great to see now it has to start moving by the arrow keys so we have to go in the control and first we'll take a forever block so we'll connect it here now when we want to move the rocket with arrow keys we have to check when the arrow is pressed from the keyboard it should move so whenever we want to check a condition you all know we use an if block right yes some of you are answering it really good you all know how to change the x and y so we'll go to if block we'll take two if blocks right one after the other inside the forever so let us see if the arrow key is pressed how the uh, sprite will move so we'll go to sensing and we'll take a block here we have to go down this is the block key press so here we have to connect one block here and we will select here arrow key so let's select right arrow and again another we'll take here and we'll select here left arrow like this now so when the key is pressed what should happen it should move left and right so how do we move a sprite left and right which is the coordinate for that can you all tell me okay yes some of you have said it's right it's the x co x coordinate so we have to change the x number x value here so we'll go to motion and we have to take a block change x by 10 so let us put it in the right arrow key here and the another one change x y 10 we'll put it in the left side but it has to go 
minus yes it has to decrease so i'll write here x change x by minus 10 there you go now let us see if this is working or not let us click the flag so the code is started oh there you are it's moving my rocket ship rocket ship is active i can move it with the arrow keys so now let us move ahead let us stop the game and let us start uh, the coding another code now we have to do in the rocket we have done the code so now the shooting should start so we have to control the laser so when we press another key let's say space key so the laser should start shooting so we'll go to the laser sprite and we have to start with the event block when key pressed and it is already having when space key so when the space key is pressed it should start right very good but you have to also make it go to this position it it cannot go somewhere else right it has to stay with the rocket so we need the flag event also so let us keep this aside first i'll use the green flag so it should set the size first of all you need the size and position you have to set it for all the sprites so let us go to looks and let us take set size but it won't be 100%. What should it be? Yes, what we have set here, 10. So we need to write here, 10. Great. Then we have to hide it because it has to stay hidden, right? So we'll make a hide block come from here and connect it here. So that's it for the green flag. Then we have to do the code for when space key is pressed. Right, so when we click the space key, first of all, it has to show and it has to start moving. So it will start from this position. Now comes a little tricky part that it should start from the rocket. So first it will go to motion and we know the position block. We had, we had used it in the rocket. It is the go to X and Y. So it'll connect it here. Now, now comes a tricky part. What should be the Y? Y should be the same. It's around same as the rocket. Like I have done this 141. So in the laser, it's 140. That's okay. But the X has to continuously change. If I move my rocket left or right, the laser should also move there. Right? Are you getting? So we have to go in the sensing and we have to take a block from here backdrop of stage so what is this block we have to check that which uh, position we want for what so here we will not select stage we want rocket ship and here we want the x position so whenever we move the rocket ship the x position will keep on changing it will come in this block so we have to put this block inside the x here so it will always go there right now you're getting so when we press the space key, it has to go. Then it has to go up. It has to just start shooting. It can just shoot and it can just pass through all the rocks. It has to destroy all the rocks. So it has to go till the up edge is reached. Right? You know that there is a top edge here. So we will go to control. And we have to take a condition block, which is a loop also. It is a repeat. but a special kind of repeat. So we will take repeat until. So we have to do what is the meaning of this? It will keep on going up and up and up until it reaches the edge here. So we have to connect this block right here. Then we'll go to sensing. And what should we take now? Can anyone tell me in the comment section? Yes, I can see your Chat. I can see some of you are uh, answering. Okay, some of you are typing yes. So we have to do if it is touching. So there is a touching mouse pointer block at the top. We'll connect this block inside repeat until here. And we have to do not touching mouse pointer, but it will do the edge. 
So we'll select here edge. There we are. Now it should repeat. Then we have to keep on moving up and up. So we will go to motion. Now you all know, how do we move a sprite up? Which coordinate is used to move up? Is it X or is it the Y? Can you tell me students? Is it X or Y? Come on, come on. There's a question for all of you. How do you move your sprite up? Do you use it? Do you use the X or you use the Y? Yes, one, uh, one of you has written up and down is for Y. Very good. So we'll go to motion and we have to take a block, change Y by 10. So I'll put it inside the repeat block. Now let us see if it's working or not. Let us, pay, let us press the space key. There you go. Our rocket is shooting, but it's just going till the position, uh, till the edge. So it is stopping there. So we have to do it continuously. It should never stop. It has to come back. So we need to do it again, the position block. We have to put this inside of forever, right? It has to do that. So whenever we press the space key, it has to come back. So we'll take this go to block again. And we don't need all of this. We just need the go to. So we will connect it inside below here. We'll put it below the repeat. So after it starts from here, again, it goes there. So I can shoot it. I can keep on shooting like this. Now my rocket gun is ready. So I have to shoot it to the rock. Now, what is the next code? We have to do for the rocks, right? The rock should start coming from, from the top. So let us go to the rocks and the rock is ready, but one rock is not enough. We are a very enthusiastic gamer. So we need the game challenging. So there should be more rocks, right? So what should we do here? Let us see. We'll start with the event block when flag click right here. Then let us make it go. Uh, let us hide it first because we don't want it. So it has to create a copy itself, copy of itself. So in the control section, we have a block here, create clone of myself. What is the meaning of clone? Clone means it will copy, it will make its own uh, copy, right? So first of all, we have to do that. It has to show, it should keep here, it should show. So I'll connect a show block first. Okay, then it will make a copy. So now comes your choice that how much challenging you want the game. Is it, if, if you want it more challenging, you have to make that many copies. So let's say I'm keeping four copies. I just want four rocks. Okay, so I'll go to control and I'll take a repeat block and I should write here, four times. So it will four times create a clone of itself. So I'll take a create clone block right here. So it will create four copies of this rock, but there is already one copy. One is already there. So we will not use this one. This is just to create a copy. So we will put a hide block now. We'll take a hide block from the loops and connect it right here. So it, had, it will make a copy, then it will hide. Okay, one of you is asking a question. How we save the game, kindly tell. Okay, uh, you can even sign into your Scratch account and you, you can even save without signing it. I will show you at the end how you can download your project. Okay, so let us continue. Now it will create a copy. So when it creates a copy, we will do the code for all those clones of the rocks. So we'll go to control and there is a block when I start as a clone. So when it starts as a clone, it will do something. So we have to make it come from the top. So let's say we move it here. We need to start from this position. So we will go to look. No, we will go to motion first and we'll take a go to block so it can start from this position. So let's take a go to. 
but it will not start from the same position the x value can be different because we need the rock to come from any random position like this anywhere so we are going to put something inside the x value of this go to block so let us go to the operator section and here we have a block pick random from 1 to 10 so it will pick a random number and it will give us so we'll take this block and put it inside the go to x and y we'll put it in the x now it will not be 1 to 10 if you want to cover the full horizontal length of the screen you have to see the values so let's say i want it from here so here it is around minus 210 i can do minus 210 so i will write here minus 210 and let's see what is the value here so here it is 230 let's do 240 so here i'll write 240 so it can start from anywhere now let us see how this works i'll just click the flag and there are some copies of the rocks and it is going to any random position so it is working now it has to come down so we'll go to the control and we'll use the same blue which we did for the laser so we had used something in the laser which was repeat until so it has to repeat until it comes down and it touches the rocket ship so that is something not good for us it is a dangerous situation if we hit the rocks we will lose the game so that is our condition if you hit the rocks it will stop there when you rocket when the rocket hits the rock uh, hits the rock the rock will stop so i'll take a repeat until and put it here so it has to repeat until it reaches the rocket ship so we'll go to sensing and let us take a block touching mouse pointer and here what we should write rocket ship that's right so repeat until it touches the rocket ship now what will it repeat it has to keep on coming down so we have to go to motion and we need a block so let us go down and again we need to make it come down so we'll take a y block change y by 10 so let us put it inside now if we want it to come down what we should do with the y it should increase or decrease can you all tell me yes yes who will tell me comment yeah, you all can comment it should y should increase or decrease very good decrease so we have to write a minus sign here let's put a minus 10 or minus 10 could be very uh, it could be very fast let's see i'll just click the flag oh it's just surrounding the rocket that is really fast so let us not keep minus 10 let's keep minus 5 that is good now let's stop it so it reaches till the rocket but we don't want that it should hit the rocket so we are going to move our rocket right so now we have to put two conditions that if we shoot a laser and it hits the rock what will happen or if the rock doesn't touch the rocket but goes to the bottom we can dodge the rock right it is we have to shoot the rock but sometimes if we can't shoot the rock we can dodge it we can just move our rocket ship so that it goes down so we have to put two conditions so let us go to control and put the first condition block if then and remember we have to put all all these if blocks both these if blocks inside the repeat until because it is everything is repeating until it touches the rocket ship so the first condition is if we if the rock reaches the bottom of the screen without touching anything rocket or the laser so let's see let us see where is our rock so if the rock is touching the bottom so that is around 150 you can see the y coordinate it is minus 150 around minus 147 that is 150 so we have to go in the operators and we have to take 
a comparison block which is a less than sign this one it can go inside our if and then so here if the y position of the rock goes down less than this number then it will start again it will come from the top right so we have to get a y position let's go to motion and we have a block y position so we will put it inside this condition so if y position is less than let's put this number i'll make a good easy number i write minus 150 so if it, if it goes less than that it will start again from this position so we have already used a go to block here at the starting so it will go to that position again so we can do one thing we can right click on this go to block and we can duplicate it so it will duplicate the whole code but we don't want the whole i'll just put it here i'll delete everything else and i'll just use this go to block inside my if block here so when it goes down it can again start from this position right so okay some of you are asking the questions let me answer your question what is the use of laser laser will hit the rocks and destroy the rocks so when we press the space key the laser will shoot we are going to do that code that if the laser hits the rocks what will happen right so we'll see that and we will also do how to end the game i will show you now we have to put another if block that if the laser hits the rocks what will happen so let's go to control and we'll take if then again inside the repeat until do not forget to put inside the repeat until and here we have to do if the laser touching rocks so we'll go to sensing and we will take a touching block let's put it inside the if so here when if the rock is touching the laser it will get destroyed so it will again go to the same position at the top it will start from the top again so it will look like it just went vanished it destroyed so let us again duplicate the go to block from here so we'll put this go to inside another if here so now it's started let's see if it's working or not let us click on the flag and see so let's see how many rocks come okay so four rocks are coming and they are coming from anywhere you can see they are working when it goes down now let's see what happens if we shoot with the laser whoa can you see that when i shoot the laser the rock is getting destroyed oh but it, when it touches it stops there i touch the rock with the rocket ship but if i shoot it with the laser it will destroy so and uh, if i touch the rock right now the rocks are just stopping there because i have not done the code that when we hit the rock with the rocket it will stop the game we have not done that so right now it's just stopping there but our laser is working so we are into the adventure yes so now let us complete the code so i hope all of you are getting it great you all are enjoying that's great so you have to keep on commenting i can see so many uh, excitement here that's great yes we have to do the coding if the rock uh, hits the rocket then it will stop the game okay now we have uh, done here when flag clicked and everything so now we have done the rocket and all so what will happen if it uh, goes to the game over we have to stop the game and we have to show in the screen that the game is over so to show something in our backdrop we have to write that something so we have to go in our stage so i'll click on the stage option here and i'll select the backdrops from here so i can see there are two backdrops there is one blank which i don't want so i'll just delete this blank one and i have galaxy so i am going to make another backdrop so i will right click on this galaxy backdrop and i will duplicate it so in this second backdrop i will rename it so here i'll just write game over 
So this is my backdrop of game over. And here I can write with the text. So now we have to click on the T button here and we have to click on anywhere in the backdrop. So it will come a small text box. So yes, so we will write here game over and let us put an exclamation mark. You can also like, write you lose. You can put any message you want. Then we can click outside this text box and it will show these dots. So when we want to make it bigger, we have to drag from this dots like this and let us put it in the center. Then let us change the color of this text. So I'll go to fill color and I'll select the color to let's say red. I'll make a dark red color like this. So it's showing me here. Then I can also change the font from here. So let us make a very interesting font which is used for games. How about pixel? You all have used, uh, you might have seen this uh, pixel, right? It is very much used in many games. So let us keep this font. Okay, so yeah, some of you are asking questions. Let me answer them. Uh, yeah, you will have this masterclass. Yes, we will have this masterclass oftenly. And how do we put the sound? Yes, I'll show you. We need a sound. Without the sound, game is very dull. It is not interesting. So now we'll put a sound. Keep on watching. So let's go to the code. Now we have made our backdrop. Let's go back to code. And let us go back to the rocks where we were. Now, we have to do something when we touch the laser with the rock. So it should be a very interesting sound effect. So let us go to the sounds category from here. And let us click on this, choose a sound. So we have to click on the search bar. And there is a sound called coin. You can find it in the effects also but I have searched it here. Let me play it for you, how it sounds. So that is the coin sound. It will hit the laser, the rocks will uh, hit the laser and it will make the sound. So let us select this. Now, I want to use this sound in my code. So I'll go to code and I have to do the code here. If touching laser, we'll go to sound and let us take a block start sound coin. So I'll just put it before the go to block here. So it just goes there and it makes the sound. So now let me show you how it works. So whenever I hit the rocks, it is touching. Great. Now we have to do that. Uh, it will give us some points because if you don't do any points in the game, it will not be that interesting. You need some score that how many times you shoot, you shot the rocks, right? You want to keep a count. So we have to go in the new uh, category of blocks, which is variable. So there is a variable. Now, what is a variable? Variable is a kind of a number which can be saved. We can store that and we can even change that. It is used to store the value. So we will click on this, make a variable and we will name it as score. So now we see a score here. You all can see it is zero. So we need to start the score as zero. So we will go up and when we click on the flag, we'll put a block set my variable to zero, but it is not going to be my variable. Let us change here to score. So it will set the score to zero when we start the game. So that now, when we hit the rock with the laser, it will give us some points. So let us take this change my variable by block. And here also I will select first score. Then I have to take this block inside if touching laser. So when we touch the rock with laser, it will change the score. Now let us not do it by one. Let's give us some more points. Let's do it 10. So it will change by 10. So when we hit the rock uh, with the laser, it will give us 10 points, right? That is going to be interesting. So yes, we can even add levels. That's a very good uh, 
thing you have suggested one of you have uh, done in the comment that you can add a trophy level that's right you can add many levels in this so it will be very interesting and challenging now let us see how it is working so let's click on the flag yes now when i'm hitting the rocks it's giving me 10 points can you see so now it is getting a little interesting oh but there is something wrong with the backdrop can you all spot it it's showing already game over it should not start with game over right so we have to keep on changing this backdrop that when we start the game it will start with a normal one and when the game ends then only it will show game over so we have to connect one block with the when flag click we will go to looks and we have to take a block switch backdrop to and let us select in the switch backdrop galaxy so we will put this switch backdrop right at the top when flag click so it will switch back to galaxy yes so let's click on flag and see okay now it is working so now we have to stop the game when we hit by the rocks so in the if condition which we have done that it will uh, we have done repeat until touching the rocket ship so the whole code is working on a thing on a situation where it is not touching the rocket so when it is going down it can also touch the rocket so anything you put outside this whole repeat until it will be for when it touches the rocket so we have to put one block at the end at the bottom so we will take a block switch backdrop to galaxy and put it here and let us select here game over so after the repeat until apart from repeat until touching when it touches the rocket rocket ship it will switch the backdrop to game over right and then it will stop the game so that's it when we switch the backdrop the backdrop will change but what will happen the sprites are still working the code is still working so we have to do something that all the code in the, all the sprites should stop so how we will do it and at the same time don't forget the sound we need to make a game over sound right so let us see how to do that so we will go in uh, let us uh, see in the rocket here we have done this so when the backdrop switches it should change the uh, it will stop this code because i i should not be able to move my rocket if we stop the game yes some of you are suggesting it's the stop all block very nice it's the correct block and how we will do it first we'll go to events and we will take a event when backdrop switches to galaxy so here it will not be galaxy but game over when it switches to game over we'll go to control and we will take a block stop all but we can't just stop everything because we want to still play the uh, game over sound so we will just stop other scripts in sprite there is a option here other script which is if i connect it so there are two scripts in the sprite script means the part of the code so when it stops it will just stop this much so let's do this in the laser also here we will go to events let's take this when backdrop switches to galaxy let's do game over let's go to control and we will put stop here we will select other scripts in sprite yes okay so that is for the rocket and the laser now let's go to rocks and here also we have to do the same thing that the whole code will stop when it uh, when the backdrop switches so we will put one block here when backdrop switches to game over it will also stop the script in the sprite other scripts so it will stop the movement of the rock now it will Do you remember we had made four copies of the rock we had made four clones of the rock 
so we have to delete all of them because if they all stop and they just stay in the backdrop our game over will not be visible it has to stay visible right so we will go to control and we will take a block delete this clone so it will delete all of the clones it will work for all the clones understood yes i can see uh, you are enjoying a lot that's great i want to see this enthusiasm that's great i i am also loving to teach you so that's it now we have to do the last thing which is it will make a sound for the game over so that code we will do in the stage so we will select the stage and the code is empty here so here also again we will take the event when stage when the backdrop switches to and let's select here game over so it will first play the sound then stop everything in the game so let's go to the sound and we don't have a sound here so we need to select a sound first let's go to the sound tab and here we'll choose a sound let's write here loose so there is a loose sound so we'll select this loose sound yes so we have to go back to the code sorry so here it will play the loose sound completely <clears throat> so i will take the first block <clears throat> which is play sound lose until done so it will play the whole sound not just start the sound so we'll go to the sound category and you have to take this uh, you are asking which category yeah it is the sound category <clears throat> so now after it plays that lose sound it has to stop everything so we'll go to control and we'll take the stop all block this one so it can stop everything now the code should be complete and we should be able to play the game so let's see okay uh, who is asking that uh, which category you have to go in the sound category which is the purple block purple category and some of you is uh, one of you is asking that your rocket is not moving properly so you have to check the code that you have done it for the x value change x value then it will move left and right okay so now let us play the game in the full screen and see if it is working or not are you ready all shall you play give me some cheer are you ready how to add levels i will tell you that don't worry let us play the first level first so let us click on the flag yes now you are ready Okay, my rocket is moving. Oh, I touched it. I have to play again, but the sound is coming, so it is working, right? So it turns out I am not very good at the game, but I know that you all are very good. So you will play it very uh, interestingly. Let's see again. Okay, my laser is working. Oh, and it's shooting more than one rock at a time. can you see yes so now it's working and my score is increasing great so now the game is good right now let us check again if it touches the rock what is happening yes so all the rocks are hiding and uh, score is stopped here everything is stopped and the game over is showing but i know you won't be stopping at this score your score would be very much higher than mine because you all are very uh, like expert gamers right that's great okay so we have made this game in uh, in the basic level that only one level we have added there is no other level so if you want to try this game you can all do it in your scratch and you have to share it with us right did you all enjoy this tell me what was the uh, did you like this game okay yes i can see some enthusiasm great okay so now we have to uh, player has law okay who is asking yes the player will uh, play again and the score will start from again so we have to click on the flag and see the score is starting from 
like that. Okay, so you all enjoyed? That's great. Now, let us see how to add levels in the game. Are you ready to add levels? It is a little code we have to do, but we can do it. Are you all interested to add levels? Give me some yes. Give me some uh, cheer in the comments. Yes, very much. That's great. So I guess all of you are enjoying it. So let us make this game more interesting. So now, if we want to make a level, we have to make another variable because it will increase the level when you keep on playing, right? So something which you want to change, it is done by a variable. Let's go to variables and we'll make a variable. Let's name it level. So we have another variable called level. Let's put this on the right side. So it is looking good. You can put it anywhere you want. Okay, I guess I'll put here only. So you can see the score and the level together. Now, how the level will start? The first level should be one. Level one is always the first. So we'll go to rocks and at the top, when we start with the flag, as we have done set score to zero, we have to do set level to one. Okay, let's start. So we have done set level to one. So how it will work? When the score changes to some value, it should increase the level. So if you are getting good at the game, the level should keep on increasing. So we'll make the first level very basic. Okay, so let's say we will put a condition that if the score goes to certain value, let's say it reaches 100, after you reach 100 score, the level will increase. And how the level, how the difficulty will increase? Can anyone suggest me how we can increase the difficulty of this game with the level? Okay, game will get more harder and harder, that's right. But what will happen? How do, how do we make it harder? We have the rocks. We have to, yes, one of you have told it more speed that's correct very nice we can add more rocks that's also right that's also a good suggestion we can add more but let us keep the number of rocks same we'll keep the repeat value as four only but we'll increase the speed of the rock so it will start with a very slow speed but when the level increases the speed will be increasing so now let us see how the speed will increase now We'll just make some space here. So let me just arrange my code because I need to put more code now. I'll just zoom out. I'll just bring the code a little bot to the bottom because I need to add something in this main code when flag clicked. Now, after it does everything, making a clone and all, we have to put a control which is a forever block here to change the level so that when the score is changing, the level will increase. So we are going to put an if block, not just one, but many if blocks. You have to put as many if blocks, as many levels you want. So let's say I want five levels. So I will put five if blocks inside this forever. So I need more space. So I'm just shifting this. Let's put if, one more if, or let's do one thing. I'll just keep one if and I will duplicate it. So my task will be very easy. So let's see what will be the condition with the if block. Now, we have to check if the score is between zero and 100, the level will be one. Till zero to 100, level will be one. So how, let, how we will put that condition Let's go to the operators and we need two conditions that the score is greater than zero and it is less than 100. So it is in between zero and one, uh, sorry, zero and 100. 
so we will take a and block from here so let's put the and so this and can fit two conditions in our if block so first condition will take as this greater than which will come inside this gap here just look at the screen carefully how i'm putting the block so here we have to put condition for the score let's put score so score is greater than 0 that is the first condition then the second condition we have to take from operators that score is less than 100 so here again we will put the duplicate the score block here so wait it shouldn't stop shouldn't start here i will put 100 so that is my first condition for the first level so we have to do in the variables set level equal to what will come 0 to 100 is level 1 so we'll write here level 1 so that is for first level so now you just need to duplicate this if block and put more levels so let's say i'll keep uh, three levels for now if you want to add more levels you can add it so i'll duplicate the if i'll put it inside the forever then again one more time like this so i have three levels and i need to change the condition so for this second if block 100 to 200 yes you all are getting very quick you all are commenting that's great so here we will do 100 here we will do 200 and here what is the third So one, two hundred to three hundred. That's great. So that is for that. Okay. Now we have to change this. Set level two to set level two three. So we have all the three levels. Now how the speed will increase with the level? So we have to use the level variable again with the speed. So now comes a little tricky part. How do we change the speed of the rock? is there any block in the main code this is uh yeah let me put it now this is our main code to move the rock so if we want to change the speed there is only one block here which is this change y by minus 5 so when the y is changing the rocks are coming down so instead of minus 5 if we put a more a bigger number then the speed will increase and if we put a smaller number the speed will decrease so we have to put something that the speed will change so we have to use the level variable so if the level is 1 let's see what is the speed at 1 but we have to write a minus sign here so how we will put minus sign look at the code carefully i'll first go to operators and i will take a minus block from here and i will put it inside the change y i'm zooming in again so you can see it properly so here when you want to make a minus number you have to do zero first you'll write zero and minus you will put the variable the level block so what is the meaning of this level is changing from 1 to 2 and 3 so it is doing zero minus 1 Zero minus one is minus one. Then zero minus two is minus two. So it will keep on increasing the speed. Okay. So this change y block will keep on changing. So that's it. We have done for three levels. Now let's check it. Okay. Uh, some of you are asking how to add the trophy. That's very good question. So if you want to show a trophy, let's say if you are in level one. I mean, let's say you have crossed level five or six, so it is a good achievement for you. So you can make another backdrop, just like we made the losing backdrop, which is this game over. You can make another one, and you can put a image of a trophy, or you can write here that congratulations. You can put a backdrop. So when it reaches, it will change the backdrop. Okay, you can do that. That is an option. Now. let us see if the speed is working or not are you all ready to check tell me we have put the levels for the speed 
So let us view it in the full screen. And again, finally, we will play the game. Okay, the level one is very easy, right? I can easily shoot it. Even I can play it. So you can easily pass any level by quickly shooting more rocks. So it will not stay easy for too long. You have to keep on shooting the rocks. Oh, now the level has increased. Can you see? The speed has increased. Oh, <laughs> see again, I'm not very good at playing this, but let me show you again. So I'll reach again to 100. And let's see if the level is increasing. Okay, what if we get more than 300? Yes, then you can put more levels. It will be level two, four, five, six, any level you can do. Okay, you can see now the level two is there and the speed is good. Now, if I reach the level three, I'm about to reach level three. And if the score increases then 200, yes, now it is 220. You can see the speed of the rock. It is really fast, right? So I'm in level three. So like this, you can keep on adding the levels. So now our game is really interesting. Students, did you like it? What do you think? Yes, okay, I'm also lasting in this game, but just because I'm not shooting it. Okay, so I just stopped the game here. So we have added the levels and the speed, right? Did you all enjoy the game or not? Uh, yes, one of you is asking question, what if we get more than 300, you can add more levels and you can add the trophy by adding a new backdrop that in the backdrop, you can write congratulations, you won the trophy like that. So that will be very uh, like you have to add just a little more code and you have to do some more changes. So you can keep on playing this game and you can keep on making it better and better. So there we are, we have finished our game. So did you all enjoy or not? I want to see. Okay. You are saying yes. Very nice. All of you are uh, enjoying. That's great. So today we did a lot of coding and we made our adventurous game, which is a space shooter game. So we have to do it uh, that we will uh, how to save the game. That is the last uh, thing we have to learn. So if we are not signed in, how you can download the game all of you can see there is a file option in the corner and we have an option save to your computer so when i click that it will download one project can you see at the bottom it is written uh, scratch project dot sb3 that is the project file and you don't click on it when you want to open it you have to go to scratch so let's say I want to open it again from starting. So let's say I have closed the scratch and I want to open it again. See, by mistake, I closed it. Oh, what will happen? But don't worry, I have downloaded it. So I can create a new project again and I will open it in the scratch again. I'll just show you how. Let's close this. So I'll go back to the file. And I have to click load from your computer. And here I have to load it. So it is this scratch project. And it is going to load, load, yes. Now we have the game. Everything is right here with us. So like this, you can download the game. And if you want to uh, save it in the scratch, then you have to sign in with your account and it will automatically scratch in the save. So if you don't have an account in Scratch, you can create an account for yourself by clicking on the Join Scratch button. So you can do either of these options. So there we are. Now we have finished this today's masterclass. So now I want to see, what did you think? Did you enjoy it or not? Okay, yes, I can see so many people are saying you enjoyed it. That's great. Perfect. So I also enjoyed it teaching you. 
and this should uh, what do you think you want this class uh, every week like you you want it uh, again great all of you are very enthusiastic and interested that's really nice to hear so we'll be keep on coming with such master classes and uh, teaching you coding so you all can be champions in the coding right so that's it we will conclude here and we will uh, end this class here so goodbye all of you have a nice day and happy raksha bandhan for all of you okay goodbye bye bye